Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. Come along with us as we eat our way through Victoria, British Columbia. We are on the search for some beaver tails and maybe poutine. Let's go. Here we go. Good morning, we're using our one time on the elevator today to what? go up to the wind chamber. Yep, one elevator to drive a day. Yep, and people are coming on, so nice. let's go. All right, final breakfast, headed to Washi Washi Town. It's very pretty open buffet. All right, what I did find I really like here at the Windjammer on Quantum is they do have their own omelet station. Fresh to order omelets. I got ham, bacon, mushroom, spinach, and tomato. I also picked up a waffle, some bacon, sausage, avocado toast, cottage cheese. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> I should, uh, hopefully Josh saw the sign. Looks like Josh got us some orange juice. We have some coffee going with beautiful view this morning. All right, I'm making an egg sandwich. I got two pieces of toast, two eggs, sunny side up, two pork, two chicken sausage, and country potatoes. Did you see the thing on what this is? I have no idea what that is, but I did lift it up and look at it. Okay, me too. It looks like some type of bread-ish thing. <laughs> When you're an adult on a cruise ship, you make your own rules up. Chocolate milk on Frosted Flakes. Best of both worlds. It's gonna be like Cocoa Pebbles. That's right. Feels like the first time we've seen the sun. Many days. You can see the North Star is actually up. The pool deck looks good. Lots more people in the hot tubs today. Headed back to the C-Plex this morning. All right, 15 minutes after opening, the line starts over there, wraps all the way around to here. There's like multiple blowholes out there. Straight out there, right? Straight out. All right, let's see if we can capture something. Three, four, five, six, 
Oh yeah. So we were just watching the football game and then all of a sudden I looked out and saw some whales. Ended up coming across a ton of them. They were out way on the horizon so we had to use binoculars. Unfortunately this camera does not get out that well. Um, maybe at some point we'll get one but it was very, very cool. Glad to have the binoculars with. When you have the obstructed view the footstool works. <laughs> We've actually even seen a couple whales out here now. If only we had better weather while we were in Alaska. But we'll make up for it today. So at this point in the video, you're probably saying to yourself, where the hell's Canada? Yeah. <laughs> well, we are actually going to Victoria. I think our port, or our expected time is um, 5.45 tonight. So we are yeah. doing dinner in Canada tonight. Um, but we are going to go to our last specialty lunch, which is going to be at Chops. I feel like I'm falling over right now. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, a little bit. It's a yeah. little rocking. Yeah. Look. Holy. It's like weird. Okay. I don't remember if we had said this or not, but there is a Wonderland on this ship. We do not prefer Wonderland though. Um, we did not really enjoy our experience there. It's kind of funky. Yeah, same menu, so. Right, so, but there is one, and it's right here on deck five overlooking the Esplanade. And it does look like Izumi has lunch. We did not realize that when we booked our um, specialty lunches. Not a clue, it's just a food. Trivia. It's very pretty. Mm. Alright, definitely a different menu than what we've seen at the dinner. Still looks good though. This is cheaper than the dinner if you were doing um, this without the meal plan. And we brought our own sodas. All right, shrimp cocktail. Not sure what this is on the lemon. Kind of does, doesn't it? That'd be interesting. Um, and then beef carpaccio, which actually has been like our favorite appetizer probably this whole trip. I don't know. And cocktail sauce. All right, we ended up with the filet. Got peppercorn and red wine with sauce. Some garlic on there. French fries, asparagus, mac and cheese, and the tater tots. And then there's the burger, and they come with fries. It's a big burger, check the thing out. That is a good looking burger. It's a big old patty. So, caramel onions. What else you got Bacon, on there? Bacon, rare cheese. Can you open this one? Some special sauce, Gruyere, bacon, lettuce, tomato. First dessert, only one here that we're getting, is the key lime meringue. Did you notice that there is some a layer of cake in there? I feel like I didn't notice it before. I did not notice that Definitely the nicest day that we've had. They actually open up the pool and the kiddie pool. And you can see the North Stars out there. Crab Rangoon. Looks pretty good actually. It does look good.
like we may have pulled into Victoria a little bit earlier than expected. And there are a billion planes that just keep taking off right next to us. Hopefully we can get off early. Initially it was supposed to be 545 when we were able to get off the ship, but I think it's gonna be earlier. It's only 415 right now. Uh, the line to get off is kind of long. Hello, beautiful Canada. Perfect weather. All right, so we made it in about 45 minutes early. You can see there the Welcome to Canada. We do have to wear a mask when we go through the terminal. Um, so when we got downstairs, we saw a line that was like the entire Royal Esplanade. Ended up going over to the other stairs, went straight out. So, double check. But let's get to Victoria. When you get out of the customs area, you can see a signs that point you in the direction to all the different modes of transportation. We're not sure what we're going to do yet, but we'll let you know what. All right, so we did talk to the rickshaw guys, which they only do tours. They do yeah. not do just downtown. The pedal bikes was $20 a person. We did not check on the taxi, but it does look like it's about a 20 minute walk. So we'll walk. Somebody's just giving us directions on how to walk there. But 20, 25 minute walk does go by Fisherman's Wharf. So let's go. Check this out. This is supposed to be one of the best spots for poutine as well. So you got oh, fries, fries, brown gravy, cheese curds, big <laughs> cheese curds. I love it. Look and then these. this is a beaver tail. So it looks like it's like fried dough. Put it next to your face. Oh my gosh. Look <laughs> at that thing. Um, so this is the Killalo Sunrise, which is basically the original but with a lemon. So it's cinnamon and sugar. And then this one is the Mepo, <laughs> M-E-H-P-L-E. -E. Um, so you can guess, it tastes like maple. With a crunchy thing on it. Yeah. Too, so maple crunch. Yum. All right, first time having beaver tails. What'd you think? I would love them. <laughs> they were yep. delicious. Way lighter than I expected, so not as dense and yeah. heavy, which is good and bad. Good because. I could eat another one. Bad because I could eat another one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I thought the flavor was really good. Much lighter than I expected. I agree. Uh, the poutine, it was good. I kind of thought that the cheese curds would have been a little bit more melted, but I actually really liked it that they weren't because then you knew you were eating you were cheese, cheese curds. curds. You had a good texture to it. Yeah. Um, it's a nice basic brown gravy. It was good. Good start. All right, next.
All right, we are at Government and Fiskard. And check this out. We made it. This is the oldest Chinatown in Canada. Mm -hmm. And... Second oldest in North America. Second oldest Chinatown in North America. All right, one of the best Asian places here in Chinatown looks to be Little Yunnan Restaurant. So let's check it out. What happens when worlds collide? <laughs> All right, starting off with some pan fried dumplings. I believe that they have pork and shrimp in them. They look good. I'm not sure what the sauce is though. Whatever it is, it's impossible to stir. It's oil. If you know what it is, please leave a comment down below. There is a bit of soup in it too, so it burst out on the table. So after I ate a few, it does look like it is just pork. No shrimp. We haven't had any bites of shrimp in it, but it's still very good. All right, these are some handmade spicy wontons you pictured. Yeah, I got it. All right. She did warn us that these are hot. So this could be interesting. Um, also, we did get part of our crossing the bridge rice noodles so if you know vietnamese pho and hot pot i i feel like i would think kind of a in between of that so they give you all your ingredients and then they're going to be bringing us like some boiling hot broth and i think the noodles are going to be in it so oh, i think you're at the noodles late last is what the little direction is saying but maybe right. they're well we don't have noodles yet but we have everything else reporting in they are hot. Cooked uh, and <laughs> Cooked and temperature. Wait, that's still temperature. Spice. You get it. Yeah, <laughs> spicy and cooked. Spice level. All right, so they do have instructions on the table as far as what you're supposed to do. And Rachel's going to be cooking for us. Yeah. All right, so you got to put the egg in first. Quail egg, I know that. Quail egg, yep. And then she'll put the meat in, which looks to be pork. Oh, don't. Oh, there's some cabbage, too. It's like a little nap of cabbage. And then, are you going to put everything in? There's some weird looking stuff. I don't know what it all is, but. Sure. All right, let's try it. Here goes that. I would assume that's some kind of meat. Isn't We're adventurous eaters. Here comes this. This looks like peppers. What is it? Peppers and onions. Peppers and onion, maybe. I feel like there's a lot of mushroom looking things here. Maybe. Oh, I do know the broccoli. Let's do that one yep. next. Yep. I know that one. Those? Sure. They look like that peppers. looks like mushroom. Do you think peppers? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think it's going to be a fun guy. More than just you? Is a fun <laughs> yeah, guy. yeah, exactly. Uh, there's a thing. Look out. Almost meat. like, like <laughs> jelly meat. Jelly meat, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this one looks like it should maybe go later because it's crispy. Okay. So it's like always already fried. What do you think? Bamboo shoots maybe? Sure. I can see that. Carrots? I know that one too. I do know carrots. Good call, good call. And then um balls. Alright, all right, zoom in on that. I'm gonna say like fish balls. And then I think this is like that bean um it's like a bean pasta, but I think that's tofu. Oh, okay. All right, and then our last is these pre-fried things, I think. And then she's bringing our noodles. You just make the soup as you 
I guess right at the table. Yeah. It's full. It is full. There's a lot of items there. Oh man, look at those noodles. Yep. That is a lot of noodles. This is a hearty dish. I'm glad we got one to share. Yeah, this no kidding. Ridiculous. I think it's only like 15 bucks too. Yeah. So like this is enough to share easy. Especially with those handmade dumplings too. I'm gonna put that on my plate and eat it in a minute. <laughs> the dumplings. Good. The spicy wontons. Yeah. All right, tell me the history of this one. So this is Fantanel. It is the smallest street in Canada. And it was actually part of a movie scene. This is a street. Yes. Fantan Alley. Ooh. I love the lights up top. Yeah. And this is also, you know, right down the street from where we just ate. Yeah, if you're coming down this way, you might as well check this out. It's actually really cool. It'd be hard to fit any car down here. You could fit a moped. If you really want to drive on the street, I'm sure somebody will yell at you. And there is uh, these Christmas lights right above. And then you come out right where we just were eating, which is Little Yunnan. There you go. Very cool. Alright, we just grabbed a beer over here at Irish Times Pub. Oh, raspberry lime ale. It was delicious and the bar is beautiful. Beautiful bar, great yeah. beer menu. If you're in interested in beer, I did a Guinness just because I felt like I was in an Irish pub. I had to. <laughs> and I did a local beer because I do local beers when we can. And so we had to. But yeah. check it out. Fun place. All right. Well, we are making our way back to the harbor and we are seeing the parliament building for the first time all lit up. Oh my goodness. Rachel's got to take a picture right away. What do you think about that, Rachel? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. So pretty. And it's right here on the water. Oh, it's like, awesome. Your tears pretty. Like that Aww. is so cool. Not gone yet. Mm -hmm. All right, Victoria, we just got back. Final day. Yeah. Um, definitely odd. Um, yeah. It starts out feeling like a sea day. Yeah, if you've done a lot of cruises, generally your port days, you're going into the town or country or whatever. But with um, Victoria, you know, you kind of have almost a full day. And then all of a sudden, five o'clock rolls around and they're like, okay, get off the ship. Yeah. So that's interesting. And like you generally have your dinners on the on board and stuff. So 
you know, we had a full day of activities before we even got to got to Victoria. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah. Um, what did you think about it? So Victoria, I found it to be beautiful. I thought it was a very beautiful city. Everything we wanted to do was within walking distance. Yeah. Now you could have taken a pedicab, a taxi, a shuttle, anything of that sort. We chose to walk it. And I'm not sure what the cost is for the shuttle. Yeah. Um, I don't want to give price quotes that it ends up being something different. Uh, but we do know that the 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 pedic or the the bike cab um, that the guy asked for twenty bucks a pop. Once you got outside the port area, there were a couple dudes out there. I bet you that you can get it for cheaper. So I bet you can too. Pass pass mm -hmm. the initial ones. But we walked it, and it was nice, easy walking, a nice path. 20 to 25 minutes. Yep. Um, not too bad, though. It's fairly level. Um, there's signs that indicate which way to go. We walked mm -hmm. back in the dark, and actually it wasn't very difficult. No, and I felt very safe. I never once had any concerns while we were there. Uh, there was that one guy in Chinatown. Oh, yeah, that was still light, though. That wasn't in the dark. Yeah, so in the <laughs> yeah, light, it could be scary, too. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I thought Victoria, it's beautiful. Oh, it's my goodness. Beautiful. It's such a pretty downtown mm -hmm. area. Um, highly recommend getting in there. Like, if, if you're on one of these cruises and you're like, I don't, I don't want to do it because I only have four and a half hours, which we were only scheduled to have three hours and 45 minutes here. Yeah, we got in early. Mm -hmm. and, and it probably would have been enough. Get over there, get your pictures taken, grab some food. Grab a drink. Yeah, had we gotten in when back. they originally told us, we likely would have taken transportation down there. I think so too. But. Yeah, because otherwise, if you're spending like 40 to 60 minutes walking, you're not going to want to do that in most ports. Yeah. Um, I thought that the food was overall pretty good. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed the beaver tails. I was glad to be able to get some poutine while we're here in Canada. Yeah. And it was great to have a beer there too. Yeah, and we actually had a new to both of us experience in Chinatown we did this um what is it bridge to I can't remember rice noodles I think it's called um and you kind of mix it all in your own yeah. plate or in your own bowl definitely so, definitely a mixture cool. of like Vietnam Vietnamese pho versus hot pot so you're mm -hmm. just cooking it right there yeah. it was good so you already kind of gave it away but what was your best bite of the day maple beaver tail yeah yeah. I liked it too, and I think this goes back to, if you've watched previous vlogs, if not, go back and check out our New England road trip one. Um, we mentioned how the maple flavoring in the north, mm -hmm. well, then it was northeast here, northwest, is much different than the artificial maple flavoring. It's Agreed. true maple flavoring. It is delicious. Yeah, it's maple not just like very good. overly artificial flavoring mm -hmm. and sugary and stuff. It, it's really tasty. And the beaver tail itself, I think, is what I was more shocked about is how light and fluffy it was. That's what um, I was going to say, how yeah, not it dense looks, it was. It mm -hmm. looks like it's going to be a heavy piece of pastry, and, and it's actually very light, airy. You can handle a few. And my goodness, they give you so many different options. I'm betting at least a dozen different toppings. Mm -hmm. And then they had ice cream you could add to it too. Yeah, we didn't want to go too in-depth because we've never had it before. But like yeah. some of them have like, you can add ice cream to it. You can add a bunch of candy bars and stuff to it. It was a little too much. But it was, it was, good. It was worth it. Worth the walk over there for sure. Your best experience of the day. Best experience of the day. Honestly, the sun. Oh gosh. I am That's just so hard to beat. Yeah, really. I'm. I, I'm just so glad because honest, mm -hmm. we have not had sun since Seattle, yep. which was day one of this cruise. Today is now day seven. Um, I was ready for a good weather day without yep. fog, without rain, and we had it. You you think like we we talked about it while we were in Alaska. And we were like, oh, this is fine. I can handle. You know, I can handle the rain. I can handle the fog. It doesn't need to be sunny all the time. But when the sun was out, man, it was nice. It and, just changes our attitude. And, and yeah, I feel like it, so good. it changed the attitude of the ship. People yep. felt more lively and exciting. It was really nice. And it, it got a lot of people up on the, the top deck, which there was very little activity on the top deck. Yeah, what would, I mean, most we, of this cruise. we normally maybe were making it up to the top deck once or twice, maybe once a day. Mm -hmm. Honestly, to get the soft serve ice cream. Yeah, today just, we went up just there walking three through times. basically. Yeah. yeah, and we just hung out. I watched some football up there, which, yeah. by the way, you can get football in your room. So if you're here on a yeah. NFL Sunday, they they actually had the CBS and the NBC game or the CBS and the Fox games mm -hmm. um, 
and they've had the uh, ESPN games. I know there was college football during the week. So if you're one of those people that needs to like catch your sports, they, they did a really good it. job about it. Mm -hmm. My favorite part of today was oh, walking sorry. here good um walking through back to our ship we walked around the corner and were able was able to see the parliament building here in british or uh, victoria lit up it truly took my breath away it was amazing absolutely beautiful it was beautiful and mm -hmm. the fact that they do it i'm assuming every night yeah it is awesome you should definitely try to be down there during the nighttime if you can i will say about the quantum of the seas it's been an awesome experience I really enjoy Quantum. I did not, um, it'll be interesting to see a Quantum class ship in the Caribbean because I felt like for this cruise, it felt really good. And I've, I really enjoyed how they made the interior spaces amazing. Um, I thought that they were the most well done, beautiful rooms compared to other Royal Caribbean cruises that we've been on. Um, we've done, four different classes now and i feel like this one did it the best yeah um decorations wise it was beautiful the outdoor area though is not awesome mm -hmm. nope so i mean you got you got you're given your take um size wise i felt like it was fine the only thing i want to add about the quantum is i, I feel it's a, a little bit bigger version of like navigator of the seas which we're on yes i enjoyed it because it was easy to navigate and you could find your way and everything was kind of in certain pods i guess right. is the best way to say it so we were in a certain deck and we could go down a couple floors mm -hmm. to the main area down or even a couple more to the casino and you, everything was right where you wanted it to be nothing felt very far away if we wanted to so we were playing in the casino last night if we wanted to come back to the room change real quick for dinner i'm Truly, it took us less than 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the best part, and it, it didn't feel like anything was that far away. Especially coming from our last cruise was on an Oasis class where you had to plan out your day. A good 10 um, to 15 minutes yeah, to get you, somewhere. You had yeah. to make time for mm -hmm. stuff, whereas this, it really was, everything is in one area um, mm -hmm. because there was a lot of, there wasn't a lot of stuff up on the top decks. No. You know, up on the pool decks like there is on some of the bigger ships or in the Caribbean. Um, everything was between three and five. Basically, that's the way yeah. to look at mm -hmm. it. And we're actually, we're really close to both sets of um, stairs. We're on level six, so we only have to go down one. It was simple. It was Super simple. Super duper simple. We hope you enjoyed this series on our Alaskan cruise on Quantum of the Seas. If you are interested in supporting us uh, with this channel and with making more videos, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Also, if you'd like to be part of our membership, it's called The Gluttons. Go ahead and hit that join button right down below. It's another way to support the channel. You get behind the scenes footage and interaction with us uh, being a member on our channel. Yep. Thank you.